Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to take a look at a matrix with dependent rows. Now, what does that really mean? Well, let's take the 3 by 3 matrix A and notice that it has three columns. If we can find a constant such that we multiply the first column by that constant, and then we find a different constant, well, it doesn't have to be different, another constant could be the same, could be a different constant, and we can multiply that times the second column, if that then equals the elements in the third column, we can say that the rows are dependent. Here's an example. We take the number 1 and multiply it times the elements of the first column. We add to that the product of the number 2 times the elements of the second column, and they sure enough, indeed, equal the elements of the third column. 1 times 1 plus 2 times a negative 1 equals negative 1. 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 equals 8 and 1 times negative 3 plus 2 times 2 equals a positive 1. And then the rule says, rule number 11, that if the rows are dependent, then the determinant of the matrix equals 0. Now let's go here and find the determinant of this matrix and see if that is indeed 0 since we know that the rows are dependent. The determinant of A is equal to the following determinant here, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 8, negative 3, 2, and 1. We take the first element, 1, and we multiply the times, of course, we're going to get rid of this column and rid of this row, we end up with those four elements here, so we multiply 3 times 1 minus 8 times 2. Then we take the negative of this element, minus a minus 1 times, we get rid of this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, that's 2 times 1 minus 8 times a negative 3, 8 times a negative 3, and then plus the third element, which is a negative 1, times, when we get rid of this row and this column, we end up with those four elements, so we get 2 times 2 minus 3 times a negative 3. When we simplify that, that should equal 0. Let's find out. This is equal to 1 times 3 minus 16. Minus times a minus is plus 1 times 2. Minus times a minus is plus 24. And we get minus 1 times 4. Minus times a minus is plus, so 4 plus 9. Simplifying this a little bit more, we get 3 minus 16 times 1 is a minus 13. This is plus 26. And here again, that's 13 minus 1 is minus 13. And it becomes very quickly apparent that indeed that equals 0. Which means that if the rows are dependent in a matrix, then when we take the determinant of that matrix, the determinant will equal 0. And that's rule number 11.